Escaping the Palace, which airs Monday night, is Lifetime's third Harry and Meghan themed movie. While the palace may be quietly peed that the pair are the subjects in a Lifetime movie, the two have no involvement with it themselves. That is, aside from being the motivation behind the made for TV film. The movie, careful to note that certain dialogue and characters have been fictionalized, does not hold back on incidents pulled from real life. The movie will detail Megan's growing isolation and sadness, their disappointment that the firm was not defending them against the press's attacks and Harry's fear that history would repeat itself and he would not be able to protect his wife and son from the same forces that may have contributed to his mother's untimely death. In an early scene of Lifetime's new movie, Prince William and Prince Harry get into an argument about the racism that Harry's wife, Duchess Meghan, is suffering as a biracial woman at the hands of the British press a Euro and sometimes from members of their own family. But the Duke of Cambridge dismissing the issue, Prince William is depicted in a new Lifetime movie saying Meghan Markle's culture as an American celebrity is more of a problem than race. William tells Harry, what causes problems isn't color, it's culture. Megan an American. She acts more like a celebrity than a royal. While it's one of several times in the film that William dismisses the pain that Harry and Meghan are going through, the executive producers say that they were not trying to make William and his wife, Duchess Catherine the villains of the story. When Meghan tells Catherine she feels silenced when the palace forbids her from responding to tabloid attacks, Catherine says, as an American, you value freedom and individualism about all else. Here, we value dignity above all else. If we saw a villain in the story, the villains are the press and the firm, which are really the players behind the scenes of the actual family, said executive producer Meredith Finn, referring to the nickname for the palace as an institution. The people born into this family are in an impossible situation. They really don't have choices. The intention was never to make William seem like a villain. It was more to see him as a person and kind of an impossible conflict. Harry and William's fictionalized and totally unauthorized film fight is witnessed by actors portraying Markle as well as William's wife Kate Middleton. In another scene from the trailer, Harry is seen arguing with his father, Prince Charles, after the latter refuses to see him. Viewers who casually keep up with the royals will likely recognize the basics of the movie such as the strained relationship between William and Harry. Close royal watchers will remember other details that made it into the script, such Meghan being criticized for her collaboration with British Vogue, the issue was deemed too political, and making an apparently unforgivable faux pas by using too many emoji in text messages. While the specific lines and scenes may be heavily fictionalized, the core theme of the movie is what everyone following the saga essentially already knows, the palace wants to remain neutral at all costs. They prefer to say nothing, even in the face of brutal press coverage. But that was not going to work for Meghan and Harry, especially as the tabloid stories got worse and their mental health suffered a euro, particularly given the tragic fate of William and Harry's mother Princess Diana. Harry's pretty clear that his mother was hounded by paparazzi, literally to death, and he doesn't want the same thing to befall his wife, Why said. A lot of the press sort of blamed Meghan for the move to America, but it does seem like when you actually listen to what they're saying, Harry's the driving force because of that concern. Ahead of the premiere, Hollywood Life chatted with Sidney Morton and Jordan Dean star as Meghan Markle and Prince Harry in the new Lifetime movie. Hollywood Life asked Sidney and Jordan how they feel about Harry and Meghan's decision after playing the couple in Escaping the Palace. I make an effort to not make other people's families my business, Sidney said. It's not my business. I trust that people are doing whatever they think is and feel is best for their family. I think that definitely applies here. I feel that they did what they felt was best for them, so I can only say I respect it. The third installment of the network's Prince Harry and Meghan Markle biopics will depict what really happened inside the palace that drove Harry and Meghan to leave everything behind in order to make a future for themselves and their son Archie. The first, in 2018, focused on their romance. The sequel of the following year showed Meghan adjusting to life in the palace. Thank you for watching. If you liked, feel free to leave a comment below.
Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to get new video updates. We will update the latest videos about the royal family every day. Thanks and goodbye.